So today I am going to be walking you through the steps of how to make this super cozy crochet basket weave blanket pattern. Now this tutorial is a little bit different because normally I would be actually going through the steps of the entire project um, but for this I'm going to be using um, a stitch tutorial that I have previously done and I will give you the measurements needed to make this blanket. So let's go ahead and get started with just first me showing you how to do the basket weave stitch. So starting with light blue or whatever you choose for color one. And this stitch is done in multiples of eight. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make your slip knot. So let's wrap it around, push a little piece through, pull up your loop, and then go ahead and put your hook through the loop. And so the way you make a chain, for those of you who might be brand new to crochet, yarn over and pull through. Yarn over, pull through. So that's really all there is to making the chain. Um, and again, that's just for people who are pro could be brand new to crochet watching this video. So go ahead and make your chain however long you need it, keeping it in multiples of eight, and then come back. So pause the video, make your chain, and come back. Okay, so now that you've got your chain, we're gonna start with our first row. So beginning in the fourth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, we're gonna do a double crochet. So yarn over, push through the chain, yarn over, pull up a loop, and then you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, and pull through the next two. Okay, so let's do that again. And we're gonna do a double crochet in every single chain all the way down the row. And I'm gonna do a couple with you here just again for those of you who might be very new to crochet learning a few stitches. Um, the nice thing about this pattern is it really only calls for one stitch. The entire thing will be done in different variations of double crochet. Um, and you'll see what I mean soon. So that's a double crochet into our chain. We're gonna do it, like I said, in every single chain all the way down the row. So go ahead, pause the video, do a double crochet in every chain all the way down the row and come back when you get to the end. Okay, so now that you've come to the end of your row, you're gonna chain two and turn your work. So now is what I was talking about earlier. We're gonna still work with double crochets, but just different variations. So for this row, we're gonna be doing um, front post double crochets and back post double crochets. So first of all, the post up here on the top is the stitch, okay? And these are our posts. And that's what we're going to be working in for this row. So we're going to leave this first post alone and we're going to go to the second post here. And we're going to do a front post double crochet. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to push your hook around the back of the post to bring it up to the front, which is why it's called a front post double crochet. And you're going to yarn over, pull up a loop, and then finish it the way you would in the other double crochet. Okay, so we're gonna do that around the first, uh, well, starting in the second, but we're gonna do this four times. So that's one, yarn over, bring it around behind the post, yarn over, pull up a loop, that's two, three and that's four okay 
So now we're going to do four back post double crochets. So we're going to yarn over and instead of going in the front here, you're going to push your hook, you're going to go over the top of your work and push it in behind and put that post behind your hook. Okay. Yarn over. I'll let you see from the back what's happening. You're pulling it right through the back and finish it the same as all the others. Okay, so let's do that again. Now this one can feel awkward until you get the hang of it, but don't worry, just be persistent, hang in there. It's gonna get much easier as you go. And after, by the time you're done the first couple rows, it's gonna be very, very easy for you. So that's three, and we're gonna do one more. And that's four. Okay. So now we're going to repeat the first part. We're going to do four front post double crochets. And you're just going to continue all the way down the row doing just this. So you're going to do four front post double crochets, then you did four back post double crochets. Now we're doing four front post double crochets, and then you'll do four back posts. You're going to alternate all the way down the row until you get to the end. So go ahead, pause the video, and come back to me when you have finished this row. So when you get to the end, come back. Okay, so now that you've got to the end of your row, you've got this one last little thing back here, this last little post. In the top of that stitch, we're gonna do a half double crochet. So you're gonna yarn over, go right into the top of it there, oops, yarn over, Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. And that's just going to give us a nice clean edge. Okay, so now we're going to chain two and turn our work. And so now what we're going to do, our first row we started with front post double crochet. We're going to start with back post double crochet and there's a reason. So for a total of four rows, so we've just completed one, we're now gonna do, for so for the next three rows, you're gonna do a back post double crochet on all of the back posts, and you're gonna do a front post double crochet on all of the front posts, okay? So let's just do the first two sets together. So you're gonna yarn over, and in these back post double crochets, we're gonna do four back posts. One, two, and like I said, this is going to be for a total of four rows. And so for the end of each row, you're going to end it with a half double crochet, chain two, and turn your work. And then you will just be repeating. Now we're going to do front post in these four front posts, double crochets. Okay, and that's how it's going to start to look. So go ahead and continue. Um, like I said, you've got a total of four rows. So you've done one, you're working on a second, and you're going to, have to after this, you're going to have to do two more rows following this where you're doing back post double crochets on all the back post and front post double crochets into all the front posts. End every single row with a half double crochet and a chain two. 
before you turn your work. Okay, so when you finish those four rows, come back and I will show you how to continue on with your pattern. Okay, so now that you've finished your four rows, we're going to do our row, we're going on to row five now. And this is gonna be one row of doing opposite of the previous row. And this is what's gonna create our effect of the basket weave look. So what I mean is now for one row, in all of the posts that are front post double crochet, you're gonna do a back post. In all of the back posts, you're gonna do a front post. We're doing this for one row. So you shall have ended that last row with a half double crochet chain two. So now let's go ahead and get started. So these are all front post double crochets. So we're gonna do back post double crochets. So we're changing the direction of what we've just finished doing, and that's what's gonna give the effect of a basket weave. And after you finish your next five rows, you're gonna really see it take effect. So like I said, this changing direction is happening for one row only. Okay, so now here's some back posts. We're gonna do front posts. So when you, you're gonna finish this row like you finished all the others, but once you're done this row, you're gonna go and do four rows the way you just did your last four. So in all of your front post double crochets, you're gonna do front post double crochets. In all of your back post double crochets, you're gonna do back post double crochets. And you're gonna do that for four rows. When you're done those four rows, you're gonna do one row like this where you change the direction. So you'll do one opposite row. And you're just gonna keep on repeating like this. So if you need help with exactly what to do again, you can go ahead and restart this video. Um, and yeah, so as I said, the rest of the entire thing is just very repetitive. Just remember, every fifth row has to be a direction changer row. So you're gonna do opposites. All right, and that's how you do a basket weave. Okay, so by the time that you finish working on um, the rows that I've just started to walk you through for that second section of the basket weave stitch, um, you will need to repeat these steps for a total of four times so that you end up with eight rows of your basket weave sections and that will be for color one then you're going to go ahead and switch to color two and you're going to do it for a total of four sections of the basket weave stitch you'll then switch back to color number one for another eight sections and then color number three for another four sections and you're going to keep on going until you reach the length that is desired or until you get to a total of 85 inches in length.